Council. Can join us during our uh, meeting one more time. Hi. Nathan. Hi. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, so I really guess that we can start. Uh, and um, in advance, I want to say that uh, our speaking today will be more similar to something like practice, like game, uh, because uh, we are going to observe some phrases, how to express your body language, uh, nonverbal uh, language, and how to express yourself. Uh, okay, first of all, you have to understand in proper way some phrases and uh, expressions and gestures. So we will start with reminding for us parts of the hand and parts of the head, uh, because some of these names uh, you can find in the next phrases. And you have to understand what does it mean, where it uh, uh, comes from, or just like that. So just there you pay your attention, uh, something like that, and Nada. Can you, by the way, tell us about gestures in uh, everyday speaking in America? How is it uh, common or non-common for the speaking? Um, yeah, so gestures are pretty common as you're speaking. Um, people like to use their hands to describe things. A lot of people do a lot of gestures, and um, it really depends on how you speak and the way you decide to speak. But yeah, gestures are part of speaking. Yeah. Okay, and what do you think? They help us or maybe sometimes bother our attention on just like that during speaking? I think they, most of the time they help gestures. <laughs> because we can read people real attention to our conversation or speech yeah. and understand their minds. Okay, I agree with you. And there, I guess you find something new for you, maybe similar and go further. First of all, let's start with some phrases during which you uh, can um, express yourself, your gestures and movements. Uh, you can find there some similar words which describe your parts of the head or maybe your arms, hands, uh, head, just like that. There are something new and short variants. But let's start with some uh, other uh, approach to know them. Uh, guys, uh, dear our participants, what are similar for you? Which do you know exactly? You can um, explain it. You can give some, uh, I don't know, examples just like that. Or maybe translation and I will then tell Nathan too. Guys. Um, I, can, I can explain the first one. Okay, Kirill, please. Yeah. By your fingernails. It's like when you're afraid of something uh, apprehensive coming in the future and you like bite your fingernails, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yes. When person is nervous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks for your explanation. Yes, you're right. Who's the next? We can explain something. Yes, please. Uh, from people frowning when. Uh, they're angry or they had something that they don't like maybe mm -hmm. okay and what part of the head uh, people use uh, they uh, use our eyebrow yes yes you are right they use eyebrows okay thanks a lot for you what else can i yes please i would like to explain uh, cross your fingers it's uh, similar to good luck. Uh, uh -huh. uh, we say uh, we cross our fingers when we, in our country, when we have uh, tests and something other. Uh -huh. And when we and want maybe, to support people. Uh, sometimes it's very useful. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you too. Okay. And uh, when we say cross your fingers, I mean that I express some support, okay, for other person, for instance, if uh, they have some maybe control test, maybe something uh, other difficult task or just like that. Okay, okay, uh, let's the last maybe and I will open it for you some translation. Maybe somebody else want to express. Scratch your head means when you're confused or um, doubtful. 
Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. So, okay. Uh, I open for some minutes to use the translation of these phrases just uh, in the way you're going to understand it and use for our next activity. Uh, because uh, today we are going to have uh, uh, such a game during which you all will be engaged and involved in, and after which you can get some like a gift for your activity. Uh, and of course, it concerns to learning English, to improving your vocabulary skills, and just like that. So now you have just a few minutes. And uh, Nathan, what can you tell about these gestures? What is your favorite, maybe, or the most useful? from this list? Um, I think all of them are useful uh, depending on the situation that you're in. Well, the most uh, popular one is obviously the wave. Whenever you say hi, you wave mostly. Um, aside from that, um, maybe like shaking your head is a big one. Also crossing your fingers. A lot of people do that to help the most popular way to support uh, other people mm -hmm. uh, in during uh, done something um, i don't know with something difficult or maybe something important when you try to uh, enter to some university for instance okay or just like that mm -hmm. i agree with you and there if we have uh, guys pay attention to the difference between bow your head and nod your head it's not the same it's a different, uh, okay, gesture and movement of your head. Okay, and uh, just, I think we can practice these phrases to be more confident. Okay, uh, somebody of you uh, see these photos uh, or maybe suitable pictures uh, on the slide. Uh, now your turn to practice these phrases. I guess we will done it so uh, briefly. Okay, let's uh, just try uh, which uh, gesture you find out on these pictures and describe it and say. There can be one or two suitable gestures. Let's do it so uh, quickly. Just for your practice and uh, to remember better. The first one is uh, shrug your shoulders. Okay, and what else? Um, another what about example hat? Yes, Kirill, please. Um, it's like you, you not really nod your head, no. I think. Uh, okay, oh. I, uh, Kirill, I hear you bow his head. Yes, bow his head. And one more variant I heard. So, yeah. Yula, please. No. Start with shoulders, maybe. Uh, yes, Kirill said about shrugging her shoulders, uh, okay, and uh, bow uh, his head because uh, his eyes, okay, um, see to the down, to the bottom, just like that. That's why I guess it will be better to say about head position too. Okay, the second, about woman. She covers her mouth. She covers her mouth. Don't forget about endings. It also will be your practice. Mm -hmm. She covers her mouth. And what else? One more. Zia, um, one more. Uh, raise it, raising your eyebrows. Yeah. Yes, and she raises her eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the third picture? Uh, she's crossing your legs. Mm -hmm. She's crossing legs. Okay, the first. I guess you can see it. The first. Scratching your head. Yes, he's scratching his head. Okay, the fifth. For the fifth, try to find two. Uh, this uh, giving a thumbs up. Okay, giving a thumbs up. And what's more? Pay attention to head. And phrases. What about this? Nod your head. Uh, no, no, bow your head. Uh, he sits straight. I mean, not, not. Not. Um, it may be, but it's difficult to say from this picture. But what about this one? Green. He is greening, maybe. 
Yes. Okay. And the last, the sixth picture. What is there? The main gesture. It is pointing. Point. 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 Pointing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pointing. He is pointing. Okay. Use for. Uh, and one more question for you. Uh, which finger does he use? Index. 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 Mm -hmm. index finger. Index finger. Okay, guys. That's nice. Let's go further. One more time to repeat some uh, uh, phrases and be confident to use of them. What about this woman? She bites her finger. She is. Uh, yes. She bites her fingernails. Fingernails, not fingers. Who said oh. fingers? <laughs> it will be strange situation if she bites her fingers. Okay, she bites her fingernails. What about these guys? For instance, this one. He follows his bro. Repeat, please. Sorry. Follows his bro. Okay. What else? Uh, grimace, maybe. Uh, gr yes, it can be for this suitable. Mm -hmm. What about his lips, his mouth? He is pursing uh, his lips. Um, it you are it's close green. to it. Green, maybe. Oh, what greening? Uh, maybe pouting. Uh, uh, he's pouting. Mm -hmm. pouting. Yeah, I agree with you. Yes, because with with this, uh, okay. So directly these lips. Okay, what about this last? Let's try. Uh, green. Mm hmm. Greening and. Giving the thumb, uh, yeah, he's giving give the thumbs, a up. thumbs up. Okay, guys, I agree with you both, and we are ready to go further. Uh, okay, all these gestures people use to express some emotions, or we can read some emotions uh, about these people uh, knowing these gestures. There, you can find some of them. I will show you uh, the translation more fast because I want to. Uh, give you some knowing about it. Maybe some of them will be new for you, some with something you know before that. It's about all these more, uh, the most common, okay, emotions of our everyday life, for instance. And okay, guys, please tell me the difference between shock and surprise. Which one will be telling us about something positive meaning, shock or surprise? Surprise. 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 Surprise, more positive and shock, more about something um, unexpected. Different. Sorry? It can be different. Sure. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, pay attention to ignorance. Ignorance, it's about uh, when uh, um, people uh, or person behavior is not suitable to our rules or some... Uh, Mm, how it's more suitable to say moral rules or just our uh, rules in our society it's about ignorance indifference and something another so i guess you remember something and let's try the next uh, uh, form today you are we have a lot of participants and your task will be the next you choose, maybe you are interested in some emotions or maybe it's more suitable for you. Uh, you choose one of these emotions and try to describe using these gestures. Uh, try to make up uh, the whole one sentence. For instance, it is anxiety when person do and you choose the more suitable gestures. Let's try and Nathan, maybe you can give some example for our participants too. What about your or uh, the most common mood or emotion? What do you feel for the last time? Yeah, um, so most of the time I will say um, kind of friendliness. Whenever you're talking to people, you really want to be friendly and show that you're friendly. So a good way to show that you're friendly is by using your hands, by using all those gestures. So waving, um, I think bowing your head sometimes to say hello like this is good um, to just show that you're a friendly person whenever you're meeting someone that's very big. Aside from that happiness just showing that you're in a good mood around someone so you're not scared to be around someone or you're not upset to be around someone 
that's also very good and very important to have. And you can show that just through the way that you speak mostly. It's you're not going to be speaking in a bad way and like not in a very sad way, mostly keeping you happy whenever you're meeting someone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it's pretty nice, and it's really nice to uh, hear about friendliness, and and especially about bowing your head. It's really something new for me, maybe just for me, but it's really something interesting when you just bow your head. Okay, guys, what about you? Share your thoughts. How you can express these emotions? You cross your fingers when you are anxious. Um, about yeah, let's say a test in your school. Yes, or, of course. Or probably you've got an interest in uh, passing it positively. Yes, it can be. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, all our students can say that we feel an uh, anxiety uh, when we have some control test at, at school. It's a really common example about anxiety or anxiety. What is suitable to say for you? Okay, and we really cross our fingers. What's more? Who else? Or maybe Kirill, you want to add something? Um, you scratch your head and you're confused. Or yes. probably when you are uh, disapproving somebody else's opinion. Yeah, let's say you're you can agree with him. And mm -hmm. you like you you're scratching your head to show that that's probably not the thing you're interested in. Mm -hmm. I am not so sure, okay, about your answer yeah, or about yeah. your behavior. Okay, thanks a lot. Who else? Guys, let's um, go. We yawn. We yawn when I usually yawn when she, the society about is uh, so boredom for me and uh, I feel boredom and uh, something like that. Okay, and what else you can do? What uh, movements more when you feel boredom maybe mm. find something else fine stretch my head scratch oh, head mm -hmm. it can be too to show okay is it mm, i'm not really interested kirill please fidgeting fidget Fidgeting when boredom? I don't know. Like when hmm. I, guess I, I know, I know a lot of friends in my school that if, if they are bored, they just go and do some fidgeting. That's really annoying, but that's what they do. Okay, and you talk that. about annoying. <laughs> I, I annoy you for me. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, really. Maybe both head. Uh, mm -hmm. and it can be bow your head when you don't want somebody to see that you feel asleep fall asleep mm -hmm. during some lesson or just like some concert i don't know just like that okay Who, who's the next practice these words to remember it's more nathan how do you feel now <laughs> i see um... from you interest i'd say okay interest yeah um yeah i guess the better way to show interest is um i don't know just movements showing that you're paying attention i'd say um i don't know when you're on the list that would show interest maybe someone can help me with what would show interest maybe um nodding your head that you're listening to someone I think it's a big one for interest. Um, okay, guys, maybe. help for Nathan. Choose one more movement. Raising eyebrows. If if it's something surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to show someone that you're paying attention. Yeah, definitely. What else? Maybe somebody has its uh, her or his unique habit to express interest. Just, I don't know, not just raising uh, eyebrows, I, what it can be, just shaking head, waving. <laughs> we all have some I, Please. 
I usually uh, scratch my head when uh, I want to remember something. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I scratch my head uh, when I see something and I don't know what is it. It's like, um, nice. It's uh, it's help you to understand in proper way, scratching uh, your head. It's like interest, I think. Scratch your head. Yes, it can be. Okay, let's try in the other way. Uh, what you can describe when you put, putting your lips, for instance. When you when we do that, especially mm, I usually uh, pout. Uh, uh, when uh, um, I disapproval, uh, I have disapproval, uh, and when I uh, when I have project with my friend, uh, I usually uh, pouting because sometimes uh, my friend can fail, and it's. Uh, like a pain for me because I do it and my friend do something other. I understand you. And okay. change it. Uh, uh, no, uh, don't do something other, uh, like change what I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And girls, can you help me when we putting our lips? Can you tell me? Lipstick. Yes, when we put on lipstick on our lips, we always putting our lips because it's more comfortable for us. Because I guess uh, for boys it's difficult to understand us why we do that. Because but it's really more comfortable. Okay, what about uh, pointing? Is it um, can be uh, okay a gesture of ignorance? Pointing. Is a gesture of ignorance? I don't know. Probably more showing some um, direction towards something. Yes, it's more about it. When we uh, want to pay somebody attention, okay, to something interesting. Yeah. Okay, or maybe something about shock or surprise. What can you say about... Um, what we can choose about confusion how you can describe it with movements confusion you feel today confused you're all confused today <laughs> with new words and phrases i don't know you can you can scratch your head if you're confused if you don't know what to do or shrug your shoulders even Yes, shrug your shoulders. Can we wink? Can we wink? No. In general, no. we can, I guess. We can because when I don't know what to do, I can I can do this and shrug my shoulders. I'm confused. Okay, what else? Confusion. When it's confusion. I see something in chat. Probably when I'm confused, uh, I uh, do something like fifth jet. I don't know exactly, but I think so. Yes, Mati, I agree with you. Yes, you can fidget because uh, you don't know what to do exactly or how to behave yourself in this situation. Of course, you can fidgeting. Okay, and what about uh, shame? What movements? How you can express that maybe somebody do some shame or maybe you feel shame? When I feel shame, I want to hide from this world, you know? <laughs> yes, In and you hide situations. your face, okay? Maybe yeah. bite, bite fingernails and okay. uh, stretch head, maybe. 
scratch head once. I think I can cross my legs. Cross legs? Mm, it's interesting. When uh, when I have shame or cross my legs or fidget. Okay, we can talk about fidget. Mm -hmm. Because I maybe I don't know that uh, somebody else will know about the shame. I can fidget. And uh, maybe what? school. School. When, uh, mm -hmm. when? Maybe when you shame, uh, you school. Maybe when somebody have done something shame and you uh, you are scolding at him or her. It's more suitable for mother behavior, okay? When you have done something about shame and then he can, or he or uh, about mother, she can scold at his or her. Okay, so I guess we can go further to watch uh, something more interesting. Okay, now without any helpful tables or just like that you can uh, you are going to try uh, say what these all emojis uh, show uh, gestures or movements or emotions let's try Nathan you are too in a game the first one is confusion uh, confusion about emotions. What about gesture? Um, I think you furrow your brow a little. Um, like we, we, it on, can... the, on the emoji, we can see like this little. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? You can be prone. Okay. It can be too prone. What's the next? Zier, zier. Uh, the one in the middle is about greeting your teeth. Yes, it's about greeting. Mm -hmm. The second is greeting. What about the third? This one. Wink. Uh, wink. Wink. Mm -hmm. Wink. How is this one feel? Disappointing. Yes, disappointing, sad. Anxiety. Yes, okay. And about gesture, um, uh, what gesture or movement of head you can uh, express there? Thumble up. Sorry? It's uh, something like thumble up. Ah, you're about it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you are right. Yes, give thumbs up. You are right. But I uh, uh, asked you about this position of head, how you can uh, say it. When you're sad mm. and you... What's Bow your head. Indifference. Bow your head. Bow your head, yes. I, I hear indifference and I hear finally bow your head, yes. We bow our head when you feel um, yourself bad. Yes, it's our uh, emotion. What is there? What about uh, his or her? That not totally. What about its lips? Purse, pursing lips. Yes, pursing lips because he okay go cl so close one by one. Okay, there about head. We have shake, scratch, bow, and not your head what about this maybe not your not your head mm -hmm. uh, okay. there I, I we have nodding well. mm -hmm. there we have nodding head okay let's go further what can you say there At the first uh, picture, I can see a full face of happiness, you know? I Green in peace. Green in peace, I guess. <laughs> okay, I agree. Yes, it's really nice. What about second picture? Uh, 
Point your finger. Bite finger nails. Point. Point. Pointing. Yes, it's about pointing. It's more about pointing. And uh, in some ways, wink. Yes, because she closed one uh, eyes. Okay. There. It's Point. also point. Uh, also yes, point. it's also pointing. And what about head? Uh, green. Not. not. Not, not. Yes, not his head. He not and has... maybe green. And green, yes. Yes, and greening. Okay. The next. What about his eyebrows? Frown. Yes, he frowns. He frowns. And this one, the last? Uh, about mark. lips. Maybe, uh, lips. About lips. Purse lips. Purse? Mm -hmm. He is pursing his lips. And uh, yes, uh, if somebody says about shrug uh, his shoulders, it's too suitable for this, the last. Okay. But uh, let this, the last. What is the first picture? This girl. Oh. Uh, this. Yes, uh, if emotions, it's disgust. But if about the movements, when you. I think it's a grimace, I guess. Yes, it's grimace. Mm -hmm. Make something different, okay, emotions uh, with your face. Yes, it's grimace. There is something of, uh, about uh, friendliness, maybe you are. Uh, um, you understand it. This one? Crossing her Cross. fingers. Cross fingers. fingers. Mm -hmm. And this one? Wink. Winking. Yes, there she's winking. Okay, guys. Uh, so now we uh, offer you one thing. Um, somebody show emotional gestures, okay, maybe not show, maybe you can describe it or give some, or explain uh, some situation, and the others try to guess it and name this gesture, movements, or emotions. Who says correct? Answer going to be the next to show, or say uh, this motion or uh, something like that. Okay, we are going to start, and the next... Uh, time you understand what uh, we mean with this game. Okay, Nathan, let's start with you. You uh, offer for our uh, participants one of the emotion or gesture, and they try to guess. What do you mean? Something you can like show this. it, or you can say. Something like this. Um, um, scratching your head, shaking your head. Mm -hmm. More yes. emotion, maybe. Can be confusion, or probably you got some pain. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think confusion would be the big one. Um, like thinking about an answer, or yeah, thinking for something. Okay, Kirill, you are the next. You can explain this uh, gestural emotions if it's uh, not suitable for you to show um when you when you see your friend uh, from far away uh, what's the gesture that you use to say hello wave wave yeah yeah okay thanks a lot yula you are the next Maybe when you're surprised and uh, uh, show and uh, see something that you didn't expect and uh, you do something with your eyebrow. What you do with your eyebrows when you are surprised? And I surprise. Yes. Who said? Sorry, I can see. Who said raise uh, your eyebrows? Eva? Yes. Eva, yes, I see you. Okay, Eva, you are the next.
explain some gesture or emotion. Eva, please. Um, when you uh, worry of uh, the testers uh, or of the interesting scenes uh, in your life, uh, you do something with your fingers. Mm -hmm. Bite your fingernails. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It's by your fingernails. Okay, Abdom, please, you are the next. Mm. The gesture when you show one of your fingers as a sign of approval. Point. Uh, give a um, thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I helped for somebody because I appreciate your answer. Sorry. Uh, okay, uh, Rosti, you are the next, yes? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm, please. Uh, uh, when you have a birthday and uh, you have a present and it is mobile phone and you are you have a big uh, emotion and what you do in this time? Surprise. It's emotion, but uh, greeting. Uh, probably, your, but not. Raise your eyebrows. Maybe, but but not. Shock. Fidget. And uh, yes, it's fidget. Wow, you want so... to open, uh, you want to quickly open it and you have fidget. And that's why you fidget. So interesting explanation. Okay, who said fidget? I. Kirill, you said yes? Yeah. Because I see a lot of participants. Okay, Kirill, you are the next. Um, uh, what do you do when you're sleepy and want to take a nap? No. Yeah. Yes, Yula, you are the next. Maybe when you're so angry for some people and you disappointed and they did something that you don't like. And usually you look at them. How? Mm -hmm. you look at them. How do you look at them? If you are angry. Skol. Uh, ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Skol, okay. The next, who's the next? Please. Uh, hi. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh, uh, when you... Uh, Meet with your friends. What are you doing? Wave. I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? Wave. Uh, no. Yes, greening. Uh mm -hmm. Who said greening? I. Okay, please, you are the next. Uh, when you uh, have uh, heard uh, an interesting fact for you, you uh, do something with your eyebrows. Raise. What? Raise. Yes. Okay, raise your eyebrows when you are okay, um, pleasantly shocked. Okay, Yeva, please your turn. 
Uh, what are you doing when uh, you sleep? Nod your head. Yes. Really? I, yes. I guess about <laughs> yawning. <laughs> oh. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, Jane, you are the next, please. Oh, I don't want. Uh... You don't want to try? Yes. It. Okay, Nathan, please hold these uh, gaps. Uh huh. <laughs> um, when you were waiting for a test to come back at school and seeing the grade on the test. Crossing your fingers. Fidget. Yeah, I think both. Crossing <laughs> fingers and fidgeting. Okay, so the first will be Kirill and uh, one more about Yeva. Kirill, please. Um, when, uh, let, let's say you have a party with your friends and you get some kind of disgusting behavior and you're doing some strange gestures. How, how are they called? Something strange, okay? Yes? When you do something strange. Stretch your hand? Let's, let's say you behaving like little kids. I, you, you have a party with your friends, right? You like fidgeting, hanging around, and you, you've got the, like a strange emotion on your face, like laughing and all that stuff. Confusion. It's about gesture or emotion? It's about gesture. It's about gesture, okay. Raise oh. your eyebrows. No, we, we had a gif when uh, the woman um, took, took her uh, tongue out uh, because there was something disgusting. So what she, what she did, it's like, yeah. It's green mess. <laughs> yes, I get, I get it finally. But it's really uh, maybe not difficult, but it's not so... Uh, mm, not so obvious. Yes, not so obvious and predictable because for the first time, I think about uh, fold your arms. But then I heard the next year explanation and say, no, it's not about this one. It's more something else. And for the last, I'm totally sure that it's about grimace. Okay. Uh, Eva, you uh, will be the next. When you interested about something seen, you make something with your shoulders. With your shoulders? Shrug your shoulders. Yes. Okay, thanks a lot. Daria, you are the next. Uh, when you want to agree with something, you need to do something with uh, head. What is this? Nod your head. Yeah, it's not your head. Yes, it's about nod your head. Okay, uh, I will uh, give you some explanation for you. When I want to um, be in a confident position in front of other people, What's the gesture I use? I want to show my confidence. You fold your arms? Yes, you're right. I fold my arms. 
because I want to okay show my confidence about it. Okay, and uh, Kirill, I guess uh, give you for us the last minute. You have so interesting explanation. So uh, you will be last, and we go further. Um, okay. Um, I don't know if it, if it's really true about you girls, but when you are interested, you uh, do uh, it with your legs. The gesture. It's easy. Cross the legs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's easy, but for first time, I really think about it. I, as I previously said, you really have an interesting explanation there. Okay, and uh, for this time, uh, I've uh, admit some uh, uh, really active person. So I just uh, uh, require from you in our chat your maybe more suitable telegram uh, some notes where I can send you one gift for your activity from me. Um, I guess it will be Kirill, Yeva, Yulia, as I remember, Daria have answered. Please help me. Who else was active? Do. Jenya, yes, I rem uh, remind. Rostic, Rostic, Andre. Rostic, of course. I remind. Uh, remember about you, yes, and Yula. Please write your uh, nickname uh, from Telegram uh, in our chat, and I will share with you some interesting. Um, how can I say? British or newspaper or magazines, real uh, British uh, publication. So if you can, please share it with me. Okay, and further, we are going to observe and find out some- uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, please. Can, uh, uh, can I send my uh, phone number? Yes, of course, but Rostik, I can, uh, I can find you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, don't I just need... ask people uh, whom I don't know. I okay, okay. Uh, ask I'm them. Sorry. Okay, you, uh, I know. That's okay. So the next hour part, mm -hmm, I see a thank you a lot of guys. Uh, what is the difference of hand gestures around the world? Because we know that there are a lot of meanings in some maybe simple gestures. And in some ways, it can be really tricky and dangerous for you uh, for using the, you see, uh, such gesture because uh, from other country it can mean something strange or just rude. Okay, uh, Nathan, here I try to show some uh, suitable common gesture for USA. Is it true about this one? About the most common? Yeah, um, also wave, I I'd say. But um, wave and then I guess handshake um would be missing but those are kind of well, those are all around the world i think these are specific to the united states maybe mm -hmm. what uh, more gesture you can share with us it's really common for usa because i know high five when you have done mm -hmm. finally some work how mm -hmm. will you uh, what is the um another other names of this gesture high five and one more Um, I think what I just did, like, kind of like pointing your head sideways when you're trying to think of something, could be one. Um, yeah. Aside from that, from uh, greeting, I, I think just like taking their hand is something like, yeah, and shaking their hand is the one that's missing. Okay. Well, that's and is it real that these gesture means you're a loser? Yeah, I think so. The yeah. I, I don't think many people use it when they're out. It's kind of for I don't know. Okay. Most what about this gesture few? Is it more common for movies or is it in real life? This few. Um I think it's for both. I think it'd be very funny if you use that in a, <laughs> in real life, but and, and that's more movie style. I, but I, I think that'd be good to use. Yes, it's more like dramatic so, feelings. Yeah, very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, maybe uh, you know about something different meaning of hand gestures and you can uh, share with us. Um, I know on drumming your fingers, 
do you know what that is? It's like when you do. No, when you're when you got your fingers on a table and you like. Yes, yes, I understand one. it. Okay, yeah. what can you say? Um, so I think it's it's not exactly like fidgeting, but you just bored a little, um, waiting for something, just sitting there on the seat, and you can drum your fingers. Okay, thanks. So sorry, I have to answer somebody uh, in chat. So Nathan, can you ask our participants too? Yeah. Oh. Um. Well, about the finger tapping, I, I do think that's like uh, fidgeting. Whenever you're maybe in like a classroom or waiting for something, that's like a, a big fidget. Fidgeting is, I think, part of. It, it would show that you're anxious about something, like that you're feeling anxiety or that you're waiting for something. Maybe even boredom. I would say for fidgeting. Um. Ask about a gesture or. Yes, about meaning, uh, different meanings in the world of gesture. Well, in Ukraine, is a thumbs up also good? Or is it, um, is it bad, like in West Africa? In Africa, is it bad? Just well, I saw on the, on the last slide, it said in some parts, it's bad. Yes, guys, share with Nathan oh. our more common gesture, really. Somebody said something? I, I, I don't know about common, but um, I was once uh, scuba diving, and so the gesture thumbs up, it, it doesn't mean uh, that everything is okay. It means that you need to uh, go return back to the ship. Mm -hmm. And so if you need to say that you're feeling okay, you need to circle your fingers instead. Mm. Instead of what? Yeah, because you can't speak underwater. And if you put your thumbs up, that means you will go up the, up the way, yeah, out of the water. Yeah. And then she says that it's only our, in our country uses, but uh, when we crunch our fingers, so we nerves in, in this moment, and to think about something important. You mean something like that when we, this one? Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, it's so popular in our country when we are really nervous or you know, we are in the line and check for waiting for something. Yes, we can do this one. It's it's not, it doesn't matter that we are ready to fight. <laughs> Just yes. like that. No. And uh, do everything is our fingers, I know. Because I usually touch them when I'm nervous or something like that, and maybe bite your other lips. Yes, we mm. can bite our lips. I agree with you. It also means that we are nervous. What about when saying bite a friend? Is like putting a heart popular or no? I, I've seen that around the United States. When I, whenever you say about a friend, you do this for fun as a joke. <laughs> sure. Yeah. In, uh, can I? Yes, please. In some video, I find out uh, interesting gestures. Uh, uh, come here. Uh, you do. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, you do this movement. Uh, we use this movement uh, in our country, but in Philippines, that's interesting facts, uh, that uh, uh, this movement used to dogs. Sheep. Yes, really. And uh, uh, it's really something strange because it's difficult for me to understand how dogs understand this gesture. For instance, in Ukraine, we use some sounds, okay, to call dogs uh, to us. But how he or she, okay, dogs understand this gesture, it's really strange. Maybe somebody know how it works. <clears throat> and uh, if you do this movement uh, to people in Philippines, you can be, uh, maybe uh, you can be arrested. And that's... 
one more interest. Box. Even arrested? Yes. Oh my if God. you uh, do this movement uh, to people, and you can be arrested. Oh. Okay, and do you know one? Maybe word? not arrested, but uh, fined. Um. Yes, maybe for the first time you are going to be fined, fine, and then uh, have some more okay uh, pr predictions so you to be arrested, even arrested. Okay, and what about this gesture and in Brazil, what does it mean? Do you know or maybe have heard? Is it the same okay meaning or something another in Brazil? You can see there from the picture. That is the pre, uh, by far another meaning. It's like our middle finger. You know it. <laughs> it's the same in Brazil. And uh, there was some uh, or a strange situation with the president uh, when um, he arrived to Brazil and showed this gesture. And of course, the crowd would start. You know, we understand they they don't they didn't understand this president because it's another uh, way. And uh, yes, this gesture, for instance, in China means eight number eight. And um, to be honest, China uh, can just count something or express numbers using their hands. That is, will be one. Uh, that is, will be six or seven, I don't remember exactly, but I know that they use this system. It's really strange for us, but for China, it's really okay. So be careful with gestures in uh, China because you can just name some numbers or show some numbers. And okay. uh, some interesting facts about, about China, it's uh, uh, they don't use uh, number four. Yes. They don't yeah. use number four. They miss it in the uh, house, in uh, mathematics, and another else. It's not about gestures, but, uh, but it's some interesting facts. Yes, it's about China. And I really first, uh, firstly heard about it, that they, don't, they try to avoid four. Hmm. Why? Yes, because I think uh, uh, even number four just uh, occurs everywhere. Four sides, four uh, sides of the world, east, west, north, south, or just like that. And they try to avoid it. It's really difficult to understand. Okay, Ruslan, you raise your hand. Uh, I can add some information. As far as I know, in Chinese uh, language, four uh, sounds similar to death or dead, and uh, they try to avoid this word. Oh, okay, Ruslan, thanks for you a lot. It's really important things to point it. Yes. Do uh, maybe have you learned Chinese language or no? Uh, no, but I was also interested in uh, why is a <laughs> Why do they avoid uh, number four? Yes, it's really a captivating question about it. And now we all know it and understand. Yes, it's really interesting. Thanks for you a lot, really. Uh, Yulia, you please. Yulia, you raise your hand by mistake. Oh, sorry. Uh, in our country, point. Uh, can I explain such as uh, not polite and uh, point to, to somebody or something uh, uh, could be understanding not right. And uh, uh, from our childhood, our parents uh, say us that uh, it's not polite and we shouldn't do it. Yes, Yulia, I agree with you. Pointing in our countries means something that you are uh, behaving uh, on an improper way. And it's more about ignorance when you're pointing and something. Yes, I agree. Ruslan, please. Uh, I know one gesture, uh, fist uh, and uh, two fingers, big uh, and uh, mm, now. 
this or no? Uh, yes, this, when you rub them. Uh, I know that uh, means money or pay, paying money. Where it means? This gesture uh, means? No, no, no. I will show in like it. Yes, please show because it's, it's difficult to understand in proper way. Okay, what do we know about this gesture? Uh, we, uh, letter V. A letter V, okay, I agree. Yula, you want to say something? It's something like uh, wave maybe, because, I don't know. Oh, when... Greeting, okay? Greeting, yes. Yes, it's too about greetings, and we really can say it uh, it's the same way, use uh, like hello or I'm fine, just like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in some, uh, uh, if I don't mistake, some Asian countries or even there or Arab Arabic countries, it means that you are in contrast uh, thoughts with your government. You don't agree with your government. So mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it exactly. Why does it mean? But it's really something strange. Agata, please. Mm, yeah, I know it is um, in Slovakia. You show this gesture um, if you want to answer in school. Yes, really? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty fine because I would just raise your hand. It's not just like something interesting, but when you use it in at school, oh, it's just fine. I will use it with my yeah. students. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for your explanation. It's really interesting. Okay, and which one else do I know something interesting? Okay, what about this? How you can name this gesture and what can you say? What does it mean when I use this one? How you can name this gesture? How you can name it? Mm, maybe fidget. Oh, uh, fidget, okay, I agree. But what uh, do I use? What I use? these two parts how we can name these parts of face mm, for, for a head. head okay how can i name this position of my hand fist fist okay and this gesture has a name for a head fist that is real name of this gesture for a head fist what does it you mean? beat yourself <laughs> okay <laughs> why i need to beat myself <laughs> Let's try this. Why not? Thing. Sorry? Why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> why not? Okay. Um, in which situations I you I can use it in proper way when I use it? When you think about something important or difficult or difficult. Yeah. Yes. When it's uh, when I talk about something important or maybe when I forget about something and now I understand how. Uh, oh um, yeah. Yes, how it can be bad or how it can be uh, can give me bad results, and that's why I use this one gesture, and no one has the meaning. Okay, and one more interesting meaning: this one when you use your uh, hand, uh, when your palm, okay, uh, goes to the bottom, you like that. For instance, uh, if I know in the USA, it means go away. Nathan, is it real? Yeah. Then go away. Go away. Okay. Uh, guys, do you know the other meaning? <laughs> go away. Or you just uh, know that... Go swimming. Go swimming? Okay, maybe, but it's more suitable maybe for your friends. Understandable. Or somewhere else. Kirill. I don't know. It looks like um, water wave. Yes, I agree. It looks like that. But in the uh, Arabic countries, it means other uh, meanings. Come here. When I show them this uh, okay, sign, this gesture, it means come here. In USA, it means go away. In Arabic countries, it means uh, come here. <laughs> different, okay, different side of the world and the different meaning of these hand gestures. 
Yes, it's really so strange in some ways. Okay, there we can see using your feast to express maybe to some support when you are a sport team or maybe you work in the uh, in a team with other of these people. It also can like uh, I support with you, I work with you. We are ready to have some difficulties with just like that. Okay, maybe you remind yourself something more interesting, Nathan. Maybe you can say. What about this gesture? I, to be honest, I uh, know all my life that this gesture is only suitable for Italy. To be honest, mm. right? <laughs> You're the same, but you can see that Oi. no, it's really strange. Mm. Something beautiful, something little, or only be a minute. Ruslan, I see you raising hand. Uh, I remind myself one gesture uh, from U US, as far as I know. One time it saved uh, someone's life. Uh, I will show it. Uh, do you see? Yes. This fist. Uh, that uh, means about uh, family violence and uh, as far as I know, uh, it saved uh, one uh, 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 one family in America. Mm. It means save me. Uh -huh. It means save me. Hmm. That is, uh, I guess, uh, important gesture for our safety. But um, but remember, guys, really remember this uh, that all gestures. Uh, can have different meanings in different countries. So if in USA it means that okay, it help me, in other countries it can mean something uh, totally different. So be um, be careful using it. Okay, Ruslan, thanks for your example. Yula, please you. I don't know the all the fingers all together all my life uh, associated for me like bellissimo. Yeah. <laughs> It uh, socializes like something, something like uh, greatest. Something and, delicious, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I and totally yet, agree with you. you I, heard, I heard about uh, just that uh, Ruslan so, uh, show us, and uh, it's really, I when I saw it the uh, first time, I was shocked. Why? Because uh, I didn't know that uh, it uh, that our feast uh, that the feast uh, saved uh, many people. Uh, because uh, it's really fact that uh, um, ambulance uh, in USA know this jazz and uh, they. And I show and I saw it in many series and uh, films that people use it in real life. So it's really cool and important. Yes, and uh, as you said, that uh, even the ambulance can understand this uh, gesture. It's too important to understand and to remember. And guys, if you maybe uh, will see such gesture be. Okay, attend to with it and pay your attention. Okay, and I just really appreciate our speaking clubs because at the end of the speaking club, we try, we um, start to have a great real conversation and a lot of minds. For the first time, all uh, stay silent and for the end, all uh, uh, start to speak. Okay, maybe somebody want to add something else? Maybe I don't hear somebody. Remind, Ruslan, please. Can I? Rus okay, well, uh, Yeva, well, you will be after Ruslan. Sorry, sorry. One minute, please. And the one more gesture that uh, is uh, have some is popular uh, to put. I will show it. Uh, uh, put your forefinger and middle finger to your neck. Um, okay, mm. yes, thanks. What does it mean? Uh, 
Ruslan, uh, it means or oh, be drunk or invite to drink some alcohol. Okay, yes, it's uh, something. And uh, you can uh, gold finch uh, your neck. Oh. Okay, one more. Uh, okay, meaning of this gesture and this one. <laughs> Okay, Ruslan, so active today. Thanks a lot that you show us and we re can really understand you. What do you mean? Eva, please, you are the next. What do you want to say? Uh, it's about uh, all fingers together. I think uh, it's about uh, when people tell me about uh, something small. Okay, when they mean something in small amount, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with you, but um, it's not common for us to use all fingers. We can use just these fingers, as I can show you, uh, when I want small amount of something. But we don't use all fingers. We just use some index finger and middle finger. Yeah, yes or no? Maybe yes. Yes, maybe yes. It's, uh, but okay, we can use and all fingers too. Yeah, I agree with you. So. For this time, Nathan, how do you think? Is it really remember to? Uh, is it really important to remember about gestures? Yeah, I think mean, gestures are very useful when you don't want to speak, and they're part of speaking as well. You always want to have gestures. Yes, and even if you are planning to travel around the world, try to oh, be interested in the meaning of some gestures in the such countries. Where are you going? because it really can be too important for you and your communication with natives or with somebody else and uh, not be arrested or get some fine. <laughs> yes, just even these activities. Okay, guys, for this time, I have uh, we have to end up our conversation, our speaking. I really guess you have something important, new for you, something maybe interesting, uh, because really gesture is uh, important part of our conversation, of course, Remember of the name about parts of the hand, parts of the head, because it's too, in some ways, it's really too important about us. And the last uh, ask, we, uh, ask to Nathan. Uh, Nathan, I know that little finger uh, can have the name pinky. Yeah, pinky finger. It's more about uh, no formal language. Yeah, I, I think that's an informal name for it. But, yes, it's more informal because yeah. there I find that uh, that is little finger, but I've heard about pinky. So this one you can uh, name little finger or pinky. And of course, have a good time. And uh, for instance, I remember from my childhood that this gesture means I want to make a relationship with you or friendship with you. Yes. Do you remember some of you this gesture? Yes. Yes, yes, it's too common. Yes, but I remember it uh, mm -hmm. as sign of peace or making peace. When you, at a, as example, beat ourselves. <laughs> or when each you other. have argued before, you have argued before with your friends and you try, okay, yes, to make some like a peace and you go there and, uh, okay, suggest uh, let's uh, make our friendship, okay, one more time. Okay, yes, it's uh, something uh, about um, uh, remembering uh, from our childhood. So guys, thanks a lot for your activity. Uh, about all these people who uh, share with me uh, their uh, mix from Telegram, I will send you some bonus for you. And so we are going to meet for the next Friday. Thank you, have a nice evening. Yes, thank you too, you're welcome guys. Thank you, bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Thank you, Nathan. Bye. Good luck. Thank you, and you too. Goodbye for all. Bye.